Hello and welcome back to a brand new video where today we talk about Titanfall 2. That is correct, we're actually talking about the sequel of the game Titanfall which came out 14th of March 2014 which is nearly two years ago and you might remember it was a Xbox One slash Xbox 360 slash PC exclusive and it was meant to be the Call of Duty killer which unfortunately it wasn't. It was a very good game but you know despite not being on multi-platform you know for a game to beat another game, or you know, a game to try and beat a AAA title, it needs to be on every single platform to have a chance of being one of the best games in that category. So, uh, obviously, Call of Duty is one of the biggest FPS games probably in the world. Like, it is, Call of Duty is like one of the best and probably one of the well-known games published by Activision with the free developers by Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, and Treyarch. Now, a lot of people try competing against them, like Battlefield. Try and do a, they do a good job with EA and Dice, and uh, but no, people enjoy Call of Duty. Like Call of Duty is one of the main, it's one of the top games for you know shooting games and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, so it's one of those games which is high up in the caliber, which people want to create a game similar, but trying to uh, compete against it. So Titanfall was originally trying to be or quoted as the Call of Duty killer where they were going to try and create a game which was similar but had different ideas and to try and compete with Call of Duty. Now, because it was only on Xbox One, there was an PC and Xbox 360 out, the Microsoft side of things. It, did, it, did, it, went, it went down well, but people on Sony were like, oh, I, know, I wish I could play the game, and you know, they were able to play the game. But obviously, you know, the game might have had a little bit more chance. I mean, there was DLC which came, and free DLC, and all that wonderful stuff. And it was an overall pretty good game. I mean, we had, like, you know, like the boost jumps, we had, like, the Titans themselves, you had different type of characters in there. Uh, you had, like, you know, like, I think it was like a 40-player multi multiplayer multi-battle type thing you had players versus titans and you know different game modes and it was a thoroughly a very thoroughly enjoyable game and i said thoroughly like so many times there but you know what i mean it was a great game to play however it was on if it was on ps4 and ps3 then it might have had a chance to compete with Call of duty but it was still early days for a brand new game so titanfall 2 is coming along so Tit yes that is right guys titanfall 2 is coming out and um Today, we are going to talk about some of the multiplayer, the campaign, and some of the release date information regarding Titanfall 2. So, first things first, Titanfall 2 will be available on all platforms. So, it's going to be available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. I'm unsure if it will be available for 360 or PS3 as of yet, but it will be available for the free consoles. Now, um, talking about the campaign and talking about some information. So, the campaign for Titanfall 2 will be set in a world where science meets magic. Now... Just to give a bit of background information if you've never played Titanfall before. Well, Titanfall didn't really have a campaign. It was mainly multiplayer and it had a little bit of campaign, but it was like multiplayer campaign. But Titanfall 2 will actually have a, a campaign, which is pretty damn awesome. And I believe someone else is developing the other campaign while the main guys develop multiplayer. Just like, you know, like uh, Black Ops 3, uh, Treyarch developed the uh, multiplayer and then another company developed the campaign which is pretty good because you, you think about like the more multiplayer is the future i guess because everyone enjoys online gaming and however pe people other like retro guys and me you know specific i like campaigns like, campaigns are pretty cool and uh, sometimes if a game has really good multiplayer but bad campaign it's like are they forgetting about the campaign so that's something to think about as well but no so time for two will have a campaign now the release date for this game is march 2015 due to a recent mention from an EA's financial call. Now, Titanfall 1, like I said, came out March 14, 2014, and the lead writer for Titanfall told Forbes that it takes roughly two years to make these games. He also mentioned that the game could come this year, or early next year. So, it could potentially come in, like, November time, where, for me, like, that's a very competitive market. I mean, like, you've always got the chance of, like, uh, like Battlefield, Call of Duty, like, Need for Speed. I mean, Last year, we had, like, so many games in a very close time. Like, you had Fallout 4, you had Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you had Need for Speed, you had, I think, the new Battlefield. I mean, there were so many games in that, like, area. And for me, I think Titanfall 2 would suit best in around January, February time when people have had the chance to play AAA titles and, you know, are either waiting for the next one to come out or, you know, have, a, a, have the option, have the chance to, you know, play something else. And I think Titanfall 2 will play better in the market around about February, March time. So that potentially could happen in 2017. 
Like I said, a game could come out this this year, but personally, it might come out might come out in 2017. Now, the guy Jesse Stern. So um, he's given us some information. He spoke to Forbes about the game, and this is what he has to say. So the lead writer Jesse Stern promises Titanfall 2 will portray a world in which science meets magic, but a world which will still be grounded, dirty, human, and real. So this campaign, you know, sounds pretty interesting so far. Um, Stern and his colleagues uh, from the creative team of Respawn uh, apparently have decided to work on the sequel since late 2014. So the game came out March, uh, well, yeah, March 2014, and they started it late 2014. Just like most developers do, they like to, you know, patch the game, apply DLC and all that wonderful stuff during, you know, while the game just came out. So, um... Apparently, there's no actual release date as of yet. Um, apparently, it could come out in 2017, like I said, and it could come out, you know, f between April 1st or March 31st. It's going to be around that period, apparently, according to the information regarding from Forbes. There'll be a link, guys, down below to the source if you guys do want to check it out. So, he also said, we're only a little past into it, he tells Forbes. It takes two years to make these things, usually, sometimes late this year or early next year. So, um, it normally depends on the neighborhood in terms of, like I said earlier, about other companies developing games you know what the what's the marketing like uh you know what what's the audience like i mean it's like if a new game's coming out and it's a big competitor of yours do you want to release that game or do you want to like leave it on because you're slightly a smaller game if that makes sense so that's what i personally think it'd be better if they were in february or march which is something for me but a bit, you know let me know in the comments down below would you guys prefer like another like you know a good game like titanfall to come out at the same time as Call of Duty Battlefield, or would you prefer it to come out in March, you know, February, March, April time, where uh, you, you might be bored of the uh, current game you're playing and you want to make fresh? Because me personally, like, there's so many, get there's not really many big games come out between January, February, March, April. Uh, most of the time, these games come out like at E3, like after June. So it'd be pretty nice to open that market up, and I think it's a great market for the guys. So he also mentioned that the multiplayer. We're even better than the first time around. The first game was an Xbox exclusive, and this one is going to be widely available, I believe, on all platforms. While the shortcomings of the first game we did did not have the mechanism to tell everyone that, oh, hey, who you are, here's what you are, and who's around you. So, um, apparently people were asking that, and, we, and he said we knew the answers, but we couldn't deliver. Now, so he says, so we are going to, so we're doing our best to deliver a version of Grand Global Colonial Warfare retelling the story of the American Revolution and the American Civil War in space. So we imagine the next generation of immigrants moving out to the frontier of the inhabitable planet rather than taking a traditional sci-fi approach to what we wanted to look that would, would happen practically. Um, he also mentions that um, the ships would look like with machines, but they were designed for excavation and construction, demolition, and the working hands, and what happens when they are turned into instruments of war. So he's giving us some information regarding multiplayer as well as campaign, and he says what inspires us is the technology advancement with the invariability of the conflict and the war what was war might be like. So in Titanfall 2, there'll be lots of scenes where science meets magic, but keeping it grounded and dirty and human and real. So that's what he said earlier on. So that, you know, it gives us information like Titanfall 2, it, it, apparently it's going to be in space. Um, I mean, that's the future. I don't know, like warfare on space? Is that what a campaign's going to be? But he said it's going to be like where science meets magic. And um, yeah, it seems pretty awesome. But there we have it. We got some information regarding Titanfall 2. I will keep you updated uh, with all the information. So let me know in the comments guys down below. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And all wonderful jazz. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Woo.